Hi Leos, welcome back to my channel. This is Erica. This is your first time at Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. It's nice to meet you guys. It's always a pleasure to have Leos, okay? Um, I am a magnet for Leo energy on my channel. It's your guys' birthday season, so I'm doing a lot of Leo readings. While it's your season, then it will be Virgos. Um, so I wanted to do you guys first because I'm starting to do some of the um, August predictions for love, okay, for all zodiac signs. So you guys, since you're the birthday babies, I'm doing you first, okay? Um, so you guys, as always, keep in mind that this is a general reading, may or may not resonate with you, totally fine. Take what parts are for you, leave the rest, they're just for another Leo or cross watcher who is watching this at some point in time. Um, if you guys are interested in honing in on your personal situation, what's going on with you specifically, I am taking personal readings at this time. You could find the info below in the description box. Just send me over an email and we'll get you set up. Um, and you guys just check out the other signs that you have within your birth chart and that's pretty much it you guys. So let's get right into it. So as always Leos, I have some intuitive messages. By the way, you guys, I had some people like email and like just like some people who are subscribers on the channel who I've done personal readings for this and that. They were like, can you like show yourself without your hat? And so I was like, okay, I'll do it. Anyways, this is me without my hat, um, but I need to get my hair cut and colored. So I am not wearing it down like at all right now. Um, <laughs> so anyways, that's why you guys, but I love hats and I wear them all the time, literally. Like I'm a total hat person. So it doesn't really matter what my hair looks like. I always love hats. So anyways, I don't know why I went off on that little tangent right now, but so you guys, what I heard for you for the month of August, okay, was, um, <clears throat> I heard, um, it was, oh God, what was it now that I heard? It was a big, go big or go home. <laughs> Sorry guys. Give me one second. Hold on. Oh, rise up. It was rise up. Okay. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever heard that song. It's a really beautiful song by Andra Day. It's called Rise Up. And I feel like Leo's. Oh, and then what Spirit told me is that um, my higher self is telling me that you guys, a lot of you Leo's here in the recent past, that you have had to endure certain lessons and hardships to strengthen your inner power. Okay. Because collectively what, what I'm gathering is that a lot of you Leos have been down and out over one thing or another, okay? And for many of you, you have not been in your true power for, I'm hearing, months. So it feels like longer than that though, okay? But definitely in the past, I'm going to say six to eight months maybe, it's been like a real down and out space where you've been pulling yourself out of this space. So universally, what, what spirit is coming through and saying is that certain things had to happen the way they did, as always, right? For everyone, okay? But you guys in particular, collectively, it's coming through very strong that you guys have not been in your vivacious, beautiful, confident, courageous Leo energy. There's been things keeping you down and out and you've had to work extra hard and be extra, I don't know, to be more resilient and to pull your, I'm getting that, my, you, know, you guys, if you've been here a few times, you know, as soon as I start channeling, my nose gets itchy. I get really thirsty. All kinds of fun stuff happens. But this also means that I'm hitting it right on the head. Okay. When I start getting all my little things. Okay. Um, so there was this lesson. Okay it all comes down to kind of love too, right? Because you guys had to endure certain connections the way that you have in order to grow and learn and raise your vibration and to become more in alignment with your true north destiny and your, um, and your higher self, okay? So for many of you, the connection that you are in or have been dealing with it catapulted and or started your spiritual awakening process. I know that's gonna resonate for a lot of you. And what I'm hearing is that it, it that was absolutely lined up the way it was meant to, okay? A soul contract, okay? And many of you are dealing with soulmates and or twin flames at this time. The Leo Collective is very strong, 
with that energy. Okay. Um, that's what, another reason why I'm being so called, I'm, I said, I'm like a magnet for the Leo energy, but really truly what it is, you guys, I'm a magnet for this twin flame soulmate collective, all the whole collective. Okay. Um, anyways, but that's what I have for you guys. So August, August Leos, you guys have been building your strength back up. You've been finding your inner strength. You have been exercising your creativity. You've been listening to your intuition. You've been rising up, okay? Rise up, rise like the day, I'll rise up. Be unafraid, I'll rise up. It's like, I'm killing the song as always per usual, but you guys, it's so what I'm feeling for you guys, okay? Um, And this month, August, my prediction for August, you guys, is lots of communication, Talking to your person, hearing from your person. Guess I was right about that, guys. Okay. Um, if you've been here before, universe usually backs me up when I speak. Um, this message so far is vibing with you guys. If it's connecting with you, if the energy of this channel is connecting with you, subscribe, hit the like button. We have fun around here, guys. You know, it's not just about coming on and getting a reading. It's about enjoying your time while you're getting the reading, right? So it's very important to me. So if you're enjoying yourself, like, share, subscribe, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, love is all around you. There is love everywhere all the time. Simply acknowledge this as truth. So I just recently watched one of my favorite, favorite, favoriteest movies of all times called Love Actually. And it's like Love Actually, like the whole song is, or the whole song, the whole movie is all about love, okay? And it's like a total Christmas movie. It's super cute, but I watch it all year round as like my Halloween movies and everything else. <sighs> You guys will see, I love Christmas and I love Halloween. I'm a Libra. I'm an October baby. It's my, it's my thing. Mm. Anyways, it's like, all you need is love. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, love is the answer. Why do you think that so many spiritual like people always say love is the key, love is the way, love is the answer? It's all love. It all comes down to love, loving yourself First and foremost, Leos, I can't stress this enough, okay? Learn to love yourself, and then you will attract naturally what is meant for you into your life. Fast, okay? I think that you guys, for many of you collectively, you feel like this like super amazingness like in the not too far future. You know what I mean? And I feel it too. And that's why I'm saying that and confirming that for you. You're not crazy. There's beautiful stuff ahead, but it's all about loving yourself. Acting as if you love yourself, like you love someone that you would truly, like you are, like you would love like your child or your parent or, or whatever. Do you love yourself in that way? Do you talk to yourself in the mirror? It is so important. I know you guys, it sounds crazy, but just like talking, like looking at yourself in the mirror and saying like, you are strong, you are beautiful, you are wise, you are capable. Anyone would be lucky to have you. You know, talk yourselves up, Leo, because that's what you guys are doing. You're gaining your strength back. You're rising up back into your Leo power. And August is going to be a month of things starting to unfold. Okay, I'm hearing at a rapid rate. And I feel it. Okay, so then you got choose love. You always have a choice. Make yours with love be kind to others treat others with love kindness and respect this is your person choosing love this is what i'm feeling this is what i'm predicting we'll see what the cards say slow down pause and allow things to unfold this is you guys surrendering to the situation put your energy elsewhere leos put your energy on yourself and loving yourself and your person will come around, okay? It's the fastest way to manifest anything. You set the intention, right? It is done. Surrender, release. Don't think about it anymore. I love you. You guys, told you. Lots of communication coming in. These are powerful words. This is what your person is feeling, wanting to say. If you guys have been following along with my Leo readings, 
Go, go check them out, you guys. Your person is just scrambling behind the scenes. Spend quality time together. Listen and talk to each other. This is what your person wants to do. This is what they want to do. Your person is getting ready to surrender. Okay? Because they're addicted to your love, Leo. Dun, dun, dun. I'm addicted to love. That's the only part I know, you guys. I always sing it. But that's literally the only part. Like, I can hear the song in my mind, but like, I, whatever. Anyways. I'm hearing that song right now by Alicia Keys. Even if we were a million miles apart or whatever, I can still feel you in my bed. Hold me, touch me. He's in a na -na -na -na. Okay, you know you know what I'm talking about? That song. Um, I'll always be in love with you right till the end. Oh, is it? Have you ever tried sleeping with a broken heart? Well, you can try sleeping in my bed. You guys, that is such a wonderful song. Okay, so this is what this is, Leo. This is what this is. It's all coming in right now. Your person is like yearning for you, missing you, wanting you, mm -hmm. nine of wands. This is what they're doing. And I think I talked about this in your guys' last video is that they're gearing up to come into surrender to this connection. Like I said, before I pulled any cards, what spirit's telling me, what my higher self is, is saying is that it's what's coming in for August. It's gonna be a lot of communication, a lot of fast forward movement, okay? July was a month of buildup, building strength, courage also universally collectively you guys needed to love yourselves more to be ready for this okay to be ready and you have that's what you've been working on not a not a sword sorry fast moving energy super direct message i'm telling you guys month of august is going to be a lot of forward fast movement Someone's coming in to let down their walls, their guards. This is what is coming. Overall energy, August 2021, you guys. We have Lionsgate on the 8th. I'm going to be doing special readings for all Zodiac signs. Um, I'm going to be doing a bunch of stuff. So be sure to subscribe and come back. Nice sword. Someone coming in quick, fast. I told you, you guys, this person has been like stewing on this for a minute. And August is going to be all about a complete rebirth transformation metamorphosis and or your person is also going through some type of rebirth transformation um of, of like a spiritual awakening i feel for many of you and i think i've been channeling that in your guys's previous readings that this connection for many of you okay that this connection sent this person into some type of spiritual awakening or you into a spiritual awakening okay but this person is coming in to let down their walls let down their guards to open up, they're nervous. They're super nervous. Your person is afraid of love. Like I always say, who's not afraid of love? Duh, love is scary. Opening yourself up to someone is fucking scary. Getting hurt, heartbroken, no one wants to feel that. But I truly feel, Leo, that your person like I've been channeling out since the beginning of the reading, things had to happen the way they did, right? Divine timing, all that has been at play. But you guys both had to go through some real less. Your person has to go through some lessons of the ego, fear, opening up because they're they're so scared. They're the miser. I'm surprised I don't have the four of pentacles here. They're the miser. They hold back. Well, you can tell by with his energy a little bit. He's very scared to give his pentacle away, but he's going to. But the other energy that I've been feeling, see, this is August, right? Getting ready to give this pentacle away. They're nervous about it. They put a lot of thought into it. They've taken time with it. Pentacles are very slow moving energy. Okay. It's taken a long time for this transformation, this rebirth metamorphosis to come through. Okay. On your person's end but they've been working on themselves. They've been working on, 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 on everything, I feel. I'm hearing clearing out the cupboards. 
I know that's like super random, you guys, but that's how the messages come through, Leo. So, and if you guys have been here a few times, you know that when as I channel, messages just come out and it's super random and crazy. Look at how many just flipped over, you guys. The universe is so excited over like the energy and just wants to talk right now. There's a lot of shit going down for you guys in August. I can feel it. Leap of faith here with the fool. If it wants to come out, it will, but that was a lot of cards. And I already have someone here that I need to still talk about. Sorry guys, I lost a card. Hold on, Leo. Beautiful Leos. Oh my gosh, hold on guys. If it's your birthday today, happy birthday. Sending you guys all love and light. Okay, but if it's your birthday today, happy birthday, Leos. Okay, three of wands, yeah. Something you've been waiting for arrives in the month of August, okay? Ah, my right temple just started pounding because I was gonna say, for many of you, okay, watching this, I'm hearing around the second or third, the 12th, the 9th, and I'm hearing the 15th. So both right before and right after Lionsgate, for many of you, okay, is when a lot of this is gonna start unraveling, okay? Um, I use the word unraveling because I feel like this person might send like a little message here with the page of pentacles in the beginning of August or, or as we gear up towards the end of July right here. It's going to be somewhere in that for, for, for a lot of you where they just send a little, a little text and kind of fill out the water, I think, because they are afraid, they are timid of how you're gonna react. Because for a lot of you watching this, you haven't heard anything from this person, not a peep. There's been like no communication, okay? So it is awkward, like they're really afraid and that's why they're coming in as a page, okay? Um, and they're rushing in, okay? They're rushing in because they have taken their sweet ass time for a lot of you. Okay, but as I keep saying, it was necessary. It was necessary. Look what's on the bottom as I'm saying that. It was necessary. Four swords. It was necessary because Leo, for many of you, you were still healing from past stuff. You weren't ready. I want you guys to keep in mind also that time is an illusion. So this could be something that may have already happened, could be happening right now, or like I'm saying, is, is coming in in August, okay? But there might be times where you guys are watching readings and you're like, this is like such a trip because this happened to me like six months ago. And that's just because the reader is on a different timeline. So just go watch a different video if that's the case or watch another video of that readers that's in your birth chart, okay? Um, I know, isn't it so weird? But like, you know, <coughs> we're pulling energy from a place, the 5D, that has no time, you know? Humans made up time. That's all that is. That's why we say time is an illusion. Anyways, guys, there needed this time between you two. It was, it was, it was. I'm hearing incremental, but that's not it. It was, it was important. It had to be the way it had to be. Okay. This healing. If you guys would have come together for many of you, like when you guys did come together initially, it, and it would have ended up not good. Toxic. Okay. Look at, see? Guys, when I write about that, the universe speaks. Look, it would have ended up like this. Okay, but this is what this person is gonna come in and do. I told you this is quick, this is communication. So this is what's gonna be happening in August. Your person for many of you is gonna come in. Okay, this is the prediction here, okay? And um, Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot, Miss Erica over here. I don't know why I keep acting like I'm, I'm from California, you guys, I'm, I don't know why I act like that. I have an accent. <laughs> Anyways, because a cowgirl, you know, um, this person is coming in fast. As the energy shifts closer to Lion's Gate, we're going to have a lot more action happening, okay? It's like collective consciousness at a rapid pace, all right? So your soulmate, it's like they're already, they've already been waking up, and now it's like waking up on, on crack, on, I shouldn't say on crack, sorry, on I don't know, times a million. Okay, there we go. Lots of lots of communication coming in between you and this person. This person's gonna come in quick. They wanna communicate. They're already working on everything that they wanna do. Some of you guys might live at a physical distance here. 
like they might have to come see you might, might be like planning to reach out to you to plan a trip to come see you or you go see them okay for many of you there was a third party that had to end it feels like it's so like in the back of this person's head heart everything that it like doesn't even matter but I just got the message, so I have to share. And they've ended that. They've already made their choice. They know what they want. Sorry, guys, my itching. They know what they want, and they're coming towards you. Okay, Leo? What is the overall outcome for Leo and their person in the month of August, please? For Leo, August 2021. For Leo, over, overall. Strength and two of swords. See? Decisions. Decision time. I'm getting a very specific message that for a lot of you Leos, that there could be someone coming here in the very immediate future or very near future, or you could have already met this person that is someone that you weren't really expecting to like, like, because you really love this other person. Okay. That we've been talking about, but you have started getting really intense feelings for this new person. Okay. And so when your other person, the one that you've been waiting for or whatever okay connected to when they come in okay you're gonna have to make a choice here you're gonna have to make a choice and you're gonna have to pull you're gonna have to pull your inner strength and i feel like that is another reason why the universe has been prepping you for many of you you have a new soulmate coming into your life surprise happy birthday leos this person already can feel that energetically. Do you remember earlier when I was saying that I feel like you guys can feel something good? And yes, I do feel it's this person. Because I feel like they're working everything up, everything inside of them to come forward and everything says that they are. That's their intention right now. Keep in mind, people have free will and energy changes all the time. So it's really important to stay on top of your readings, okay? Um, but I feel like you guys, for many of you, you have two people coming in. Yep. You're going to have a choice to make. This other person here, because this is you right here, Leo. And I, I'm getting a, a decision that you are going to have to make, Leo. Okay. And I feel for many of you, it's because you, there's another person. Yeah, look, the hangman. Limbo. You're going to be stuck in limbo because you're going to have to make a decision for a lot of you, okay? For the rest of you guys, this is a decision. Your person is just coming in to, but I, I'm getting a strong energy off of that other scenario I just talked about. That's going to resonate for a lot of you guys. It's summertime, and I feel like it's someone that you just, just, just recently met, okay? Maybe you've known them for a long time, but you just didn't know them on like that kind of a level, and you just like entertain them on that level, and you and they like shock the hell out of you. And now you're like, oh my God, like I really like this person. And now I don't know what to do if such and such, when they come in, it's that. Yeah, see, the wheel is turning in your favor. Luck and destiny, everything is on your side. I told you though, this is a total, it's a good luck token from the universe coming in to bless this reading with good luck, good fortune. But you guys, this is the wheel of destiny turning in your, in your favor. You've learned valuable lessons. You've, you've closed out some karmic shit and you've risen above you've you've risen up just like i said the universe is going here you go leo congratulations forward movement i told you the energy in august is very heavy momentum you guys and again if this is resonating you guys hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you want to know what's going on behind the scenes in your personal situation you guys email me had a lot of Leos, done a lot of Leo readings, especially this past week. All right, so the Wheel of Destiny is turning in your favor in the month of August, Leos. That is the overall outcome, King of Wands. Your energy, yes, this is your person coming in to take action, but this is your energy, Leo, okay? Man or woman, it does not matter. You are in your full Leo energy power, okay? This is what the universe wanted you to learn. This is what the universe wants you to continue doing. Okay?
you're planting a lot of seeds, you've been planting a lot of seeds, and you're going to continue to be planting a lot of seeds for many of you over the next few months. Long-term stuff, might be doing some job changes, meeting new people, old people coming back. Okay, you're going to have a lot of decisions to make, but you guys are planting seeds, and you guys are very ambitious at this time when it comes to long-term thinking, okay? Luck is on your side, my loves. You are getting your power back, your strength. You've overcome all the bullshit. And the universe is backing you up at this time, okay? Take full, full, full advantage of your creativity, your passion, okay? This is an abundant time. The energy around you collectively, Leo, is abundant. If you've been thinking of starting new projects, switching jobs, anything, this is a very good time to do that for you guys, okay? I'm getting that very strong. What am I doing? I don't want more tarot. <laughs> for Leo, we're at 25 minutes for the month of August, 2021. The Hermit, double rainbow, I told you. You have, for a lot of you, you have a destined and fated person. Someone who, it's divine intervention though. It's divine intervention. In the month of August, the universe is intervening in your life. This is a very rare card. It does not come out very often, you guys. Ascension. Many of you are going you are going through an ascension process at this time. And around the time of Lionsgate on August 8th, you might feel a lot of things. You might feel past hurts. All of a sudden, you just kind of don't care anymore. Or, I don't know, you guys can Google it, look all about Lionsgate, but it is, a beautiful beautiful time of the year and I think that the universe is wanting me to just tell you guys to take advantage of this energy and this time of the year beautiful things are on their way the universe is intervening luck is on your side Leo's you guys are alchemizing you're manifesting you're you're, you're brewing up new things in your life for your future and you, what I'm hearing, are going to be alchemizing with a soulmate, with a true love, very soon, okay? Whether it's this person who, yes, I do believe for many of you is a soulmate and or twin flame, but you guys, we don't always end up with twin flames in this lifetime. We might just end up with a soulmate, someone we have a soul bond with, okay? Just is what it is. Ready for love. Ooh, baby, I'm ready for love. Bad company, you guys. Ready for love. Hermit. It's time to come out of hiding, Leo. For many of you, you've, you are stepping back in your power after, like I said, not being in your power for a long time. Many of you have had a tower moment, dark night of the soul. You've had a complete, absolute rebirth and transformation. You shed old skins. You are now turning into the fucking butterfly. And you have... Come out of the cocoon and you're ready to spread your wings and fly. You're coming out of hermit mode. You're a new person, Leo, and the universe is coming in to bless you. They want you to co-create with them. What else for Leo? The sun, more of your energy and the lovers. I told you, many of you have a soulmate and or two people coming in. And you're going to have choices to make. You're going to be at a crossroads. But your person is coming. And they want to speak truths to you. They want to bring clarity and light to the situation. Why, Leo? Because you're Leo and you made them so happy. And they never want to be without you. Again, that's what I'm hearing. Okay? Overall predictions for August look pretty damn good for you, Leos. Releasing my ex. For a lot of you guys, this person that, that you've been waiting on, I'm telling you, when they finally come back around, it's going to be too damn, it's going to be too late. And you're not going to want them anymore. For the rest of you guys, your person who was in the recent past in a third party, like I said earlier, it's just confirmation of what I said earlier. It's done. I want to marry you. Yep. This person, for many of you, that I feel this energy coming in, whether it's the new person or your old person, but this someone that you're that's coming in here in, in the near future, immediate future, it's like the one. You also have I'm ashamed. 
So many of you could have been married to someone here in the recent past that there was a third party. They cheated, something happened. They're extremely ashamed of how what went down and all that, but you've released them. You're done. You have gone through your healing process. You're raising your vibrations, and now this new soulmate is coming in. Okay? What else for Leo? I know I am stubborn. Leo, I feel that's your energy, to be very honest with you. I'm not here to bullshit anyone. I'm here to speak truths and read cards. Actually, I read energy, not the cards, but still. I know I am stubborn. And by the way, you guys, this is my magic deck, if this is your first time here. And it's super powerful, very, very powerful, very magical deck, okay? Um, but it says, I know I'm stubborn. And I think, honestly, Leo, this is you. You've been very stubborn, and the universe has repeatedly have to intervene and finally, they gave you some type of tower moment in the recent past where you were forced out of a comfort zone to grow and change. And it was for your highest good. Okay. And now blessings are coming in. Okay. All right. And I feel that you, your stubbornness is something that for a lot of you, you've been working on. You have. But also you have dealt with someone in love that is extremely stubborn. They have been. They've been stubborn with their feelings and with opening up. You're the last thing I think of and the, when I go to bed and the first thing I think of in the morning. Aww. Yep. This person misses you. They're just, they're stubborn. And for a lot of you, a little emotionally immature, right? When I was going to say that, look what popped out, children. I was, I, isn't that fucking crazy, you guys? Do you see how the light keeps changing? Isn't that really weird? It's like bluish. It reminds me of Archangel Michael's blue light. 777, luck is on your side. I told you guys. Let's start a family. Yeah, see, this person sees you as like you could be the one. For many of you who left your ex in the past, you did have a family with them. You taught me so much about life and love. Yeah, I feel for many of you, you have taught this person about life and love. That's why they can't let this connection go very soon. You're the one, you're the one. I am scared you won't want me anymore. Or you don't want me anymore, yeah. For a lot of you, they are fearful of that. Um, you guys, I want to get a couple messages for you, Leo. For the month of July 2021, just for Leo, balance. Stability and standing firm. This is exactly what I was talking about from the very beginning, you guys, before I pulled any cards. The intuitive messages. I felt that you guys had been in a, a, in a place in the recent past of instability. You lost yourself or you lost your way. Your world fell apart. You had a tower moment. Whatever it was, Leo. But I could feel that your the fire, your true Leo fire, it started burning very low. It dimmed down. And you were not in your power. And you were not feeling handsome and beautiful and courageous and, and confident and, and, and abundant and flourishing and, and, and loved. You were feeling very low and down and out. And you found your power once more. That's everything I said. This is the justice card for me too. You've stabilized. You've pulled yourself back up. And now the universe is bringing in karmic justice to you. Good karma. You have the wheel of fortune. You have 777. Pure luck. Destiny. That's overall for August 2021 for you, Leos. I'm so proud of you guys. I feel for a lot of you, you've come a very long way. I'm getting emotional. It's part of being an empath. <laughs> Deep emotions. <laughs> See, when I, the universe and spirit and stuff, they always, <sighs> thank you, my beautiful angels and guides. Unknown feelings, past life influences. For a lot of you, this is what's coming in. You do have a past life connection with a soulmate or, or twin flame or whatever, right? Um, but this is that you don't know how they feel. They've kept everything hidden. They kept it all in. Like I said, they're greedy with opening up. This is what they're coming in to do overall predictions for August. You're going to be dealing with deep emotions. You're going to have a lot of answers, clarity, stability coming in, balancing. 
I'm hearing financial abundance, financial gains. If you guys are thinking of starting a new business, do it. Do it, do it, do it, Leos. I'm hearing don't quit what you're doing right now, but start it in the meantime for a lot of you, okay? So for a lot of you guys, you've been thinking of starting something while you're still doing something else. So I'm a con I'm conduit, clairvoyant, whatever, psychic. The universe is saying, yes, do it, okay? There's your confirmation. This just flew out. Miracles and ancient wisdom. This is what's coming into your life, you guys. I'm telling you, I can feel energy. Shamanic journey, you're aligning with your true purpose in your life, okay? You have felt for a long time, Leo, sorry guys, I know I'm just, that, that things were just out of alignment in your life, okay? What do I do? Where do I go? Is this what I'm supposed to be doing? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And that is you being not in your power, okay? You've taken back control of your power and or are taking back a control your power. This is what's coming in. Miracles. You guys, you guys are tapping into, for a lot of you, you are tapping into ancient wisdom from past lives. For many of you, you might be doing like soul retrieval lessons, things of that nature, but you guys are tapping into ancient wisdom. It's like you've done this before and you're having some kind of like, I don't know, you could be tapping into Akashic records, things of that nature. So a lot of you guys are going through a massive spiritual awakenings. I highly recommend, um, you know, I do readings based on that. So if you guys have questions or you want more answers, you have things of that nature, you can reach out to me. Um, but you can Google it. There's books, pod, I mean, really, you can, you know, YouTube. So anyways, that's just coming through very strong for you guys. Um, let me get... For Leo, I want to just get whispers of love. Oh my gosh, about 36 minutes, you guys. But this is for, you know, I'm going to do your current energy updates, obviously, like every week, like how I do. But um, but I just wanted to do your guys' uh, overall prediction. So, wow. So you have a soulmate and or twin flame returning. Many of you are going to have a choice between two soulmates. Okay. Yes, you can have more than one soulmate. Okay. Soulmate can be your sister, it can be your mother, it could be your grandmother, it could be your dog, you know. Soulmates are people that are brought into our lives to teach us lessons, to show us things, to help us grow to whatever it is, you know. Sometimes we have karmic soulmates that are just there to just, you know, sometimes they're just there to start our spiritual awakening path or whatever, you know. Or they're there for us to get knocked down so so low that we have no choice but to pick ourselves back up again and then we get to this point where we decide leos that we will never ever let ourselves be treated in a bad way harmed walked on or anything ever again and that's what you guys have been doing my loves focus on love look for the good in everyone Someone is ready to spend time, quality time together with you. They're manifesting this, you guys. August is going to be a very powerful month for you, for a lot of zodiac signs, for the whole collective, actually. Slow down. Indulge in yourself, my loves. Take it easy. Take it slow. Keep your mind at an easy, you know, um, uh, like meditate it you know try to just be calm i don't don't get worked up okay try not to get worked up over things do something for someone give your attention to another so maybe do something nice for someone you know could be anything could be anything maybe you've been thinking of doing some volunteer work i'm hearing old i don't want to say old folks home but retirement center or something like that many of you like taking care of people, you know, and maybe even being called to do that. So that's another confirmation to give something a try. But my goodness, Leos, thank you so much for joining me today. I love you guys. Thank you for all your, your likes, your subscribes. Um, and be sure to hit the notification bell. I'm going to obviously be, I'm going to keep doing like some fun Leo readings every couple of days for you guys. Um, and yeah, so I'll see you guys soon. Mwah. Love and light. And get ready for August, my dears. It is going to be fiery. It's going to be a very happy month. 
yeah. All right, bye guys.